relationship between us, the audience, is everything. I feel like so many people come to our shows and by the end of it, it feels like almost a breath of fresh air, even if it's not like super flowy music, but they feel like they've let out what they need to let out and go away feeling like. I think now, because it used to be where it's like, oh, if you're emo, you can listen to this sort of music. If you're like a grunger, you need to be this. If you're hip hop, you can only be this. But now everyone's just like mixing everything up, which is so, so good because it allows for diversity. And that's what we want in our crowd. That's what we want in our music. Just take what you want, you know. It's not pristine, it's just messy, it's just bleh. And that's the best thing about like a punk show or any kind of heavy show, that's what you want. playing piano at like eight years old. My dad like gave me piano lessons, and my mum sings, and my brother plays bass. So I think subconsciously I was like, I want to play bass too. I've always just been into singing. Like I was a bit of a Disney princess. Well. <laughs> I must admit, I used to just sit there, like just singing away. And, and then it obviously like manifested into like R&B and then punk and then garage rock and then glam rock and then everything in between. So it's just that kind of journey you go on. So I've just, I think sometimes you just know, don't you? Yeah. We're all fortunate to just know. Your yes. instrument chooses you, I feel, because it just comes to you. Like, I started on the piano, but then one day I played bass and I wouldn't put it down. I was just like, this feels right. Yeah. It feels like you're calling. It's like your superpower. <laughs>
I loved like old school hip hop like Kanye West, Dr. Dre, Love Eminem, NERD, like I loved. So that kind of realm and I loved how like Timberland would sidechain things. So I brought those kind of electronic elements and sounds into like guitar with like Skrillex. I love how he like messes up um, sounds and just just thought that's sick, but let's do it on bass. <laughs> Vocally, it was definitely people like Betty Davis, and people, again, had a quite a gnarly tone. People like Kate Bush as well, like early days, I was listening to people, how they used their voice in a different kind of way. And the guitar, again, that's when I was found, obviously, like Dolls and MC5. And I liked how that made me feel.
open to music and that's the best thing about it because the choice is yours. You don't have to put yourself into a box. When you look at our audience, it looks so diverse and beautiful. Yeah, and I think as like two mixed race women, we have to, we get to pick from different things. Like we've had to navigate like differently. It doesn't mean just because we look a certain way that we have to play a certain genre. So we just enjoy mixing it up and we get to pick just pick and musically we did the same it's like there's no rules if you know what I mean it's not that you have to be this way because it's just a, a yeah. big mashup of amazing things and that's what music is to us